Hey guys and gals, hope you're doing well. It's Hannah. I am back for a VCLT video and just to show you a bunch of CD pickups that I've gotten for cheap recently that I'm pretty excited about, as well as a book that my friend Rob sent me that's, you're gonna wanna see it. So I can't wait to show you that. I'm gonna start by opening this VCLT from Jeff Kempen. He sent me an Amazon gift. So, uh, which is in this lovely green bag. I'm gonna go ahead and open it because I've had this for about a week, but I'm just now getting to um, some videos now. So, yeah, it's in this Amazon wrapped package and I'm gonna go ahead and break the seal on that. Jeff Kempen has been one of my best VC friends probably since close to the time I joined the VC back in early 2018. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link below to his channel if you haven't checked him out yet. Jeff is into everything from the blues to alternative, um, classic rock. I mean, he likes good music, that's all I can say. So he sent me some BCLT here, which is very generous. It's an early Christmas gift. I see what it is now, and I am super stoked about this. Holy crap. He sent me The Who, live at Fillmore East, 1968. This is the recording that was recently remastered. Um, I recently showed a bootleg of this. Um, I'm trying to think what company released that. It was like TMOQ or TMRQ bootleg. Um, anyways, it didn't have full versions of some songs on it. But wow, this is a three LP set. I'm super excited to have this. Oh my goodness. I might have to break the seal on this right now and show you guys. Uh, I think I'll do that at the end of this video if you want to see uh, what it looks like. So let me just show you the track listings. It's a three LP set. Yeah, my generation <laughs> takes up all of the third LP, which is crazy. But I'm excited to finally hear the full version of Relax, which is included on here, which I was missing. So. Jeff, this is too generous. Wow. Blistering set from The Who here. Pete Townsend just rips on this concert. Uh, Pete Townsend is my favorite, as you all know. So thank you so much, Jeff. At the end of this video, I'll go ahead and break the seal on this and show you guys what it looks like more in detail. Okay. Next, I'm going to show a really awesome book that I got from my friend Rob. His YouTube handle is Freedom. So he said that there would be a book coming and I was really excited about that. So I got this last week. It's called Gimme Indie Rock. 500 essential American underground rock albums from 1981 to 1996 by Andrew Earls. I I've been really having fun just absorbing this one. Um, so it's got Camper, Van Beethoven. It just has like little reviews on albums you should check out from that time period, which this is up my alley. This time period, 81 to 96. I love that period of rock. So you got Dinosaur Jr. As you can see, it just has little reviews, little snippets on various albums. It has Flipper, Fugazi, um, The Gun Club, Guided by Voices, Hole, Husker Du, yeah, the Lilies, Melvins, I mean, Mud Honey. You guys, this is a really, this is a really awesome book. So I'm just thankful to have this. I didn't even know this existed. If you guys have this, let me know. I had never seen it before. Uh, Palace Brothers, Pixies, Polvo, which I'm going to show you a Polvo CD in a little bit. Um, Sebado. Smashing Pumpkin, Smithereens. I mean, this is amazing. I, I highly recommend this book. Thank you so much, Rob, for this generous gift. I've really been enjoying it. So now I'm going to show you guys a bunch of CDs. First one is the Big Dipper. This is Super Cluster, the Big Dipper Anthology. This is a three disc set, which I found for $6. I had never seen this before. This is a college rock band from the 80s and I think early 90s. Um, this is a limited edition of 5,000 copies on Merge Records. 
they are alternative college rock if that's your stick then you're gonna like big dipper for sure this is the x this is all you need from them on here what an amazing collection here so that was cheap i found magnet pop i had never seen this album before they are an alternative band from the early 90s but i think they've regrouped since then several times this apparently was released in 91 i don't know if this is their first album i haven't listened to it yet but they have a female singer i like her so that's going to be a good listen 33 ocean songs a lot of these i've gotten for a dollar they are an instrumental group um they incorporate like violin in their music it's really beautiful stuff i i urge you to check this album out if you haven't heard it i hope to find more of their stuff in the future speaking of polvo which i mentioned earlier this is an ep um just self-titled ep i think they're considered math rock so uh, some of their stuff is a little dissonant sounding i kind of like them they're a little different uh this is starflyer 59 americana playing cover there i saw starflyer 59 in the 2000s but it was one of the worst shows i've ever seen but i do like their music i just don't think they were on that night <laughs> when i saw them but they're kind of shoegaze alternative Stereo Lab, Emperor Tomato Ketchup. I have to admit that I'm not familiar with any Stereo Lab music. I just know that their albums have recently been reissued and they have a lot of fans. So this is kind of going to be my introduction to Stereo Lab. Right there. Replacements Don't Tell a Soul. I did not have this on any format before. This album came out in 89. Another band I had nothing from, Aztec Camera, Highland, Hard Rain. I think Randall Weaver just talked about them in one of his recent videos. So I'm gonna get an education with Aztec Camera. Goodwill Find, Best of New Order. I don't really need to say much about this one. A couple of Curve albums I didn't have. I've been looking for this one for a long time. Finally, it's in my hands. Um, yeah, I got it at a store where the CDs were four for $10. I thought that was pretty decent. So finally picked this one up. This is their album from 1993. Curve are one of my favorite shoegaze electronic bands of the 90s. So this one is excellent. I also recommend their album Doppelganger. I should just show that one in my addendum, my shoegaze addendum video. And this is Curves Come Clean, which I have not heard this album yet. This one's from 97. So let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this one from them. Got another copy of Teenage Fan Club's Bandwagon-esque, which I don't know where my CD went that I had before. So it got lost somewhere. <laughs> so it's nice to have a copy of this again in my collection. One of the best power pop albums of all time. Definitely one of the best of the 90s, early 90s. So I love Teenage Fan Club. This is this is a necessary album if you're a fan of alternative and power pop. Echo and the Bunnymen. I wanted to pick this up. This is their first album, Crocodiles. This is a deluxe version and that's why I wanted it. You know, that's why I like CDs. You can get some bonus tracks, extra tracks on these deluxe versions they offer. So um, this is a really good album and I was really excited to find this. I paid $7 for this. I got lucky and I found Ocean Rain on vinyl at one of the record shows recently, but I have not stumbled upon this or Heaven Up Here, which I've really been wanting. So I, I was like, okay, I'll get that CD because it has bonus tracks, you know. Um, and then a couple of Julian Cope and Teardrop Explodes CDs. This one's Floor Genius. It's the best of Julian Cope and the Teardrop Explodes, 1979 to 1991. I thought this was a really cool pickup to get. Here's the track listing. Really been into Julian Cope lately. Um, if I could find Kilimanjaro, I did sample that and I really like it. This is Julian Cope's Peggy Suicide. This album blew me away. I forget who recommended this album to me, but I just, I love this album. It's got psychedelic guitars in it. It's alternative, weird lyrics. It, it's up my wheelhouse for sure. So Peggy Suicide from Julian Cope. 
Love this. Getting it on vinyl soon. <laughs> Um, and finally, this one kind of interested me, and I haven't spun it yet, but it's House of Love. It just says on there, German album. Uh, this is a digipack. Let me go ahead and open this. I'm just curious about this, because I have never seen this. This, it just says German album. I like the pictures here. So I have yet to spin this one. Yeah. So those are my CD finds. In the meantime, I'm going to get a knife and break the seal on this Who live at Fillmore East and show you guys what that's all about. Hang on. Ooh, I love this gatefold, you guys. Oh, that's, that's pretty neat. Love how serious John looks there. So here's one inner sleeve. Yep, it's on black vinyl. Right there. And then let's show the other one. Oh, let's be careful though when we do this, Hannah. Oh, I see what they did. So they included the two others on the other side. First one. Yeah, I like how they, uh, I like the inner sleeves here. Thank you again, Jeff. Thank you again, Rob, for the book. This is awesome. I really appreciate the gifts, you guys. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the vinyl video if you hop on over to Adventures in Record Digging. All right, peace, you guys. Bye.